everyone. Our group is going to talk about the advertisers' role, how they are going to play their roles as sponsors. So first, I'd uh, I like to talk about what do advertisers do, and they fill general competition for audience, and then they influence media content in particular ways. Let's see an example. Okay. Most of you have probably seen the film Josie and the Pussycat. In the film, there's that evil brainwashing machine which puts these messages into the music so fans are indirectly influenced, being told, pink is the new orange, you should buy this. Bye, 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 bye. Okay, and now the other thing I like to talk is talk about is media companies. In order to get sponsorship, media companies provide service to sponsors to seek an audience of appropriate size. And audiences are composed of the particular kinds of consumers advertisers are seeking to reach. And also many advertisers have their preference uh, for the audiences like they like audience of with uh, who are wealthy and who are high spending. Okay, there are a lot of films and TV shows today that advertise fashion, and most of it's name brand, and you know it. But then you have those moments where you're like, "Who is this?" And you kind of have like that America Ferrera or like Anne Hathaway moment in the Ugly Betty TV show or the film The Devil Wears Prada, where they're like, "You want me to get you a what? From who? And where?" And you're just like, "Okay, well, this person knows about it, so." I need to know about it, and then therefore you go on a quest to get that product, becoming another link on the never-ending chain that is advertisement. Okay, the co the content of commercials are very very powerful and influential. So what are the what are the contents are? Like the content first, they they are uh, they. They are compatible with audience desires, so audience are in good mood to buy products. And then the content are oriented in a manner that encourages audience to think positively. Like, ah, they will think, I'm going to buy this because it's it's going to <laughs> it's it's going to enhance my quality of life. Let's buy it. And. Since we see commercials everywhere, in the TV or on the internet, and they just have everything, everything in the in the commercials, including violence or sex, these kind of things. So it's really, really important for companies, for media companies, and for advertisers to to really handle this content very, very carefully. Okay. When I think of sponsorship in media, I think of South Korea, which is like sponsorship at, at its worst.、Um, I remember watching Block D's video, Tell Them, and I couldn't help but notice that everything they wore was either Dickies brand or they were drinking the same drink. And then lately, I've been watching this Korean drama called Too Beautiful You, which is under, which is being filmed under the agency SM Entertainment, which is record label. It features their artists; they're playing their music in the background. And also advertising products that their artists advertise, like a Tude House. So it's like literally everywhere. Sponsors have great financial influence over media companies. So media companies favor content that is compatible with advertisers' desire to expose their products to win comp. Consumers who are in the mood to spend money. So, your motive for purchasing products you want is unconsciously influenced by advertisements that media exposes. 